So we're gonna do some puppy shots here. These guys, they're getting their six week shots and uh, there's five of them to be done, but we're not gonna do all five. We're just gonna do one of them so you can see what's going on. All right, grab a puppy there, Tammy, would you? So we're gonna take one of the puppies and then we're gonna go through the whole process of how we do that. She goes back in, she wants to say, I wanna come say hi. All right, okay. So, what are we giving? We are giving a five in one shot. Five in one shot. We bought these from Valley Vet. Um, you can you can get them from your vet. You can get them from your local farm supply places. Typically has them. There's all different kinds. This is a five five way shot. Um, all right. So this has to be refrigerated. So you've got to be careful about how this gets shipped to you. You do not want this sitting around in your back porch for days. This. For us, this is shipped uh, overnight with some ice packs with it. So you can see it's a two-part shot. This is, you've got five shots left here. So you've got a two-part shot. So here comes the two parts. Here's the one part, here's the other part. And now we have to mix that up the appropriate way. So we'll just put this on. By the way, this here needs to go back in the fridge. You do not want to let this thing sit out. This does not want to get warm. Okay, so Tammy, can you hold this for me? Can you hold it for me? Okay, so what we've got here is, this came with syringes. If you, if you don't have syringes, you're gonna to have to buy them. It's a fresh syringe for every puppy. You do not use reused needles. It looks like this is an 18 gauge, 18 gauge one inch needle and a three cc, three mil um, syringe. Okay, so there's two parts to this. There is, there's always two parts. Anytime I've ever done, there's always been two parts. There's a liquid portion and then there's a powdered portion. So the first thing you do is you go in the center of this Stick it in, and you can see the needle sitting in there, and you're basically gonna pull in, um, get it right here, where's the tip, it's hard to see it. I'm not doing very good, sorry. We'll get, I can't see the needle in there. I think you need to hold it where you can see it, Tony. Where you can see it. Yeah, I'm not doing worth a diddly. Uh, and what helps here is to have some good light behind it. There it goes. Now I'm getting it all. There it is, all going through in there now. Not doing a very good job at it, but we're getting there. There it is, I got it all. All right, finally got it all. All right, so now this liquid then gets put into the powdered one, there it goes. And just give it a, give it a stir up. And you'll see it kind of goes a pinky color. Now you can actually see, much easier to see on this, you'll see the fluid going down. And sorry, I got my fingers in the way. There's the shot. Look at that, we finally got it. Get rid of any of the air in it. Not that it really matters, it's not gonna go into a vein. Okay, so there it is. We've got about a half a cc of the shot. That's what it is. One shot per puppy. So here's our puppy. And what we do here, alcohol. you've got a swab with some alcohol on it because you want to make sure that you, the area that you're in doesn't have any dirt that you're going to push into the skin. Wipe off the area you're going to give it. And then what you're going to do is you're putting it under the skin. It's not physically in the, it's just under the skin. So you lift up some skin and you put it right in the center of it with a nice firm jab. You, you got it wet right here. Right, so so what Tammy's pointing out is I need to put it in a pen. So here we go, it goes in, it goes, push it in. There it is. Then just give it a little rub and that's it, it's done. And sometimes puppies will squeal a little bit when you put the shot in, but most of the time they're like this where they're just completely happy with the whole thing. So that's it. So let's have a conversation now about when you give shots. So Tammy, we're doing shots on it, this is seven weeks. We're late We're because late. of the freezing weather yes. and the snowstorm that we had. Right. Like 15 inches in three days and right. below temperatures, things got... But typically behind. we'll do shots at six, nine, and 12 weeks. Right. Every three weeks, Every three give weeks. them their shots. Until so, they're 15 weeks old, then you can go get their rabies. There are other protocols on this. Other vets will say it's every two weeks, starting at some different time, like at, you know, seven, nine, and seven, nine, and 11. We do it every three weeks, starting at six weeks. And then, so because most of our puppies have left before they get their 12 week shot. So a shot record that you include with your puppy so that the vet knows when to give the next shot. 
is a, is a good thing to do. But there's there's the shots right there. So that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, can you do this yourself? Absolutely. What shots can you not give yourself? There are none. But if you do a rabies shot, you will not get a rabies tag. And you're supposed to have a rabies tag. Tammy, when's the rabies tag done at? Rabies. 15, 16 weeks. So, on your shots. So 15 to 16 weeks is uh, so about four months of me do the rabies. And so for that shot, you probably want to get your vet involved because you want to have a rabies tag. Have yeah, well, you can do it, but you won't have a rabies tag if you don't do right. it. Right, and yeah. then if somebody questions you about your dog biting somebody, yes. if that, you have record. Yes, right, exactly. So, so yeah, that one you want to do the rabies tag. And I think you, any dog that's running around in public is supposed to have a rabies tag too, I believe. So I think there's a reason that. But anyway, these here, absolutely, you can do yourself. I think this was about $7 a shot or something. And I, I'm not sure that you, you know, if you buy it from your vet, you may pay a lot more. If you buy it from your local animal supply place, you're going to pay that kind of price. So there you go. Bye-bye.